Hello friends, here it is my new project. We are going to control the stepper motor using DMX512 controller. I have made my own fixture for that. I am going to use this DMX512 controller board. I will use a DMX channel to send the value. It varies from 0 to 255. As per the DMX value the stepper motor will rotate and control the position of the stepper motor. Here in my fixture you can see I am using an Arduino Nano microcontroller board. To set the address of the DMX channel here it is on this board we are using the dip switches. You can see on the first 8 switches there and on the second 2 switches there. To address 512 channels it requires 9 switches. Here it is. I have soldered a MAX 485 IC. To receive the DMX signal it requires the Arduino board hardware serial RX pin. The MAX 485 chip converts the DMX signal into the TTL signal. Pin number 1 of the MAX 485 chip works as a TX pin and we have to connect it with the hardware serial port RX pin of the Arduino Nano board. As per the received value on the channel we will rotate the stepper motor to achieve the desired angle. To rotate the stepper motor we are using the stepper motor driver controller TB6600. On the back side of this module the connection details are written. This stepper motor has four terminals of two coils. This stepper motor which I am having is similar to NEMA 23. This is an old stepper motor salvage from an old device. Its coil terminals A plus and A minus, B plus and B minus are connected on this board as per the marked labels on the pins. Other than that we have to connect the power supply to run the stepper motor on this VCC point. We can connect 12 volt to 36 volt. We will use 24 volts to run this stepper motor. Another side say control side of this module you can see we have connected 4 wires. First one is the enable pin. It is to make this stepper motor controller module enable and disable. If we make it enabled then only this stepper motor will work, if we make it disabled this stepper motor will stop working. The second wire is to control the direction of rotation. The rotation can be clockwise and counterclockwise. So by using this pin we will be able to control the direction of the rotation for this stepper motor. Third is for the pulse. By sending the pulse to this pin we can move the motor by one step. And this last one is 5 volt positive. Now how much pulse is required to rotate this motor for 360 degrees can be controlled from this dip switch. If we keep this first switch on and keep all other three at off position then this stepper motor will take 800 pulses or say 800 steps to complete the one rotation of 360 degrees. If we make the second switch on and all other off then it will take a complete 360 degrees rotation and 400 pulses. In this project I am going to use this settings of the dip switch. I will give 400 pulses to this stepper motor to complete the one revolution. If we keep the third dip switch on and all other off then this stepper motor will take 200 pulses to complete the one revolution of 360 degrees. In this way we will control the stepper motor. I have kept this second dip switch on because we want to rotate the complete cycle of this stepper motor in 400 pulses. This way, this stepper motor controller works. Here is my DMX fixture I have made on a general purpose PCB. It is the port for the external power source for this controller. 
we can give 7 to 9 volts DC power supply but in some places in documents it says 12 volts. But if given 12 volt the microcontroller board will heat up too much. So 7 to 9 volts are safe. It is an Arduino Nano over there. Here it is the dip switch. By using this we can select the DMX channel and these switches work as the binary numbers. If the switch is off it will be counted as 0 and if on it will be counted as 1. Now for example if we make the first three switches at on position, it will be counted as channel number 7. Because this is 1 this is 2 and this is 4 so sum of their number is 7. In this condition we will read the channel number 7 from this DMX fixture, and as per the value on channel 7, which as we know varies from 0 to 255 for each channel, we will get the angle position of the stepper motor. And the stepper motor will rotate to achieve that angle. In this way we can select and fix the channel to read. So this is how this project will work. Here it is the DMX controller. I am going to use this DMX controller in my project. I am going to send values 0 to 255 on a DMX channel to the microcontroller, which is an Arduino Nano by using this DMX controller. Now we switch on this DMX controller. We will put this DMX controller in manual mode. Then here you can see 12 switches are there for fixtures. So we can connect 12 fixtures with this DMX controller. On each fixture a maximum 16 channel is possible. For example if you press this switch number 1. You are going to control the fixture 1. And in this fixture there are a maximum 16 channels. Here you can see page 1 and page 2 are written. On page 1 there are 8 channels available from 1 to 8. If we select page 2 again 8 channels are available which goes from 9 to 16. You can change the value of the channel by this slider. Now if you select fixture 2, on page 1 it starts from channel number 17. If we change the value of channel, you can see over there in this display, the value of channel varies from 0 to 255. So in this way we can send the DMX value on the channel from 0 to 255, like this. Here you can see it is a DMX connector. I have internally soldered my own 3 pin connector with this DMX connector. Through this connector we will get the signal A, signal B and the ground. I will jack in this connector in my fixture and extract the value from the channel input. It is the pin diagram of MAX 485 IC. I am going to show how we are going to connect this MAX 485 in my fixture making project for the DMX signal receiver. So we'll connect this pin number 1 of MAX 485 to the Arduino hardware RX pin. Then we will connect pin number 2 and 3 with each other and then connect them to the ground. At some places on the internet it is said that it is to connect with a positive 5 volt for the fixture but in our case, we have to connect it with the ground. In this project we will leave this pin number 4 as it is. In the circuit all these pins are pulled up so pin number 4 will also be in pull-up condition. If you want to transmit something from this fixture then we can connect this pin number 4 to the Arduino TX pin. Another side of this IC from pin number 5 to 8. You can see, here it is ground and VCC. At pin number 8 we will connect 5 volt positive and at pin number 5 we will connect the ground. We will receive the differential signal from the DMX controller at pin number 6 and 7 as A and B. So it was a MAX 485 pin connection diagram for making the fixture to receive the DMX signal and rotate a stepper motor. Here is the sketch I am going to upload in the Arduino Nano. We are going to use the DMX serial library in this project. The library is available online. I'll put the link in the description. We have defined the maximum angle by which we want to rotate the stepper motor using 0 to 255 DMX channel value range. 
when channel value goes 0 to 255 the stepper motor angle will change from 0 to 360 degree. We will map the DMX value with the angle. As I have already said, in this project we are going to select using the dip switch that the stepper motor will take 400 steps to complete a 360 degree rotation. Then thereafter I have defined the LED pins for debugging purposes. There is no actual use of these LEDs in the project. Thereafter, we have declared the dip switch. We can use any channel from 0 to 512 to get the DMX value. We can fix the channel by making on and off these dip switches. Here you can see we have defined the pins for the stepper motor. If we give a positive pulse on this pin the stepper motor will move for one step. Next, define the direction pin, which may be clockwise or anti-clockwise. Next is enable pin to make the stepper motor enable and disable. Here we have defined other angle related variables. I will put the link of this sketch in the description. You can download from there, if you want. Here the channel number is defined. The DMX controller which I am using is capable to control 12 fixture and on each fixture there is maximum 16 channels are there to maximum 192 channels are possible to control with this controller. Thereafter we have done the initialization and defined the pin modes. We will read all the dip switches and as per the position of the dip switches we will calculate the channel number. It is a very long string to formula to calculate the channel number. Then there is the main loop. It is very easy to understand. Now we will upload this sketch to the Arduino Nano board. Here you can see we have connected the DMX controller output. I will upload the sketch in this nano board. I have connected the stepper motor. Through the stepper motor controller. To program this board, I am to remove this jumper to isolate the MAX 485 chip and Arduino hardware serial RX pin. Now I am going to upload the sketch. In a few seconds it will be uploaded. We have to wait for that. Here the sketch is uploaded. Now put this jumper again on its position. Now we will fix the DMX channel to receive the value. If we on the first dip switch the DMX channel will be number 1. If we switch on the first two switches the channel number will be 3. Now this fixture will read the channel number 3 to get the value on the DMX channel. Now on this DMX controller, we will set it to send the DMX value on channel number 3. We will select the manual mode. Then select the fixture number 1. In this condition by using this sliding switch we will be able to change the value on channel number 3. We have set the dip switch for channel number 3. So now we will reset the microcontroller board, only after this microcontroller will start reading the channel number 3, because our sketch reads and fixes the channel number in the setup section, and to run the setup function once again we have to give a reset. Now we power up this stepper motor. We are providing a 24 volts power supply. 
make sure that the power supply is capable of delivering a maximum 4 ampere current. Now you can see it is powered on. Now in manual mode on fixture 1 and page 1. We will change the value on the channel by slider. And here you can see the stepper motor start working. As per the received DMX value. As we increase the stepper motor goes clockwise and at maximum value it rotates completely 360 degrees. And if we reduce the DMX value to start rotation anti-clockwise and go again at 0 degree. Here you can see the DMX value in this display. As per the DMX value this stepper motor takes its position. We are going to put a projector on this stepper motor. To rotate the projector, we will give a DMX value to this fixture and as per the value the projector will rotate. We will put the multiple screens all around the projector and by changing the DMX value we will be able to rotate the projector and project the video on the desired screen as per the requirement. So here it is the project where we have made a fixture to change the stepper motor angle by changing the DMX value. For further inquiries and discussion you may put the comments below. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed till now, subscribe now. Press the bell icon for the quick notifications of every new uploaded video. Thanks for watching.